Hi, I'm Ukulele Bart Warburton, and I'm here to tell you some stuff about your new Mahalo Ukulele. I'm holding the Mahalo Rainbow Ukulele, which is the one that comes in the Mahalo Starter Pack. The first thing you should know how to do is to tune the thing. So it's going to arrive out of tune. It's going to sound like this. Yeah. So you have to tune it. Well, the easiest way is to use a tuner. And luckily, I happen to have one right here. So get one of these clip-on tuners. They clip onto the headstock right there and then you turn it on. They come in different shapes and sizes and colors. They all work the same way. They pick up the vibration of the instrument when you're plucking the string and it tells you when the frequency is correct and you're in tune. The instrument arrives way out of tune. That's on purpose because if the instrument was in tune, the strings would be tight and they probably break during shipping. Changes in temperature make the wood of the instrument contractor expand and that in turn makes the strings break. The instrument vibrates when you pluck the strings. So while you're tuning, you have to be plucking the string, otherwise nothing happens. So keep plucking the string while you're tuning. Tuning is G, C, E, A on most ukuleles. So you turn the tuner on by pushing the button, and then you bang on the string. The first one is G. It's too loose, so you have to tighten the string. And the way you tighten it is you turn this peg. And make sure you're getting the right peg for the right string because if, you turn, if you're trying to tune this string and you're turning the peg for this string, you're going to break the string. So just follow with your finger up like that and make sure you're on the right peg. Okay, so the G string is this one right here. So I'm going to pluck the string continuously and then turn it. One way turns it tighter, one way loosens the string. But the tuner won't work unless you're plucking the string. And if you tune it one way, it gets higher and tighter. If you tune it the other way, it gets lower and looser. So look at your, your uh, tuner, and you're supposed to be hitting G for this one. Right now mine says E, D, it goes alphabetically. So E, and right now I'm on E, I need to go up to F. There it is, now I need to go up to G. Keep going, F sharp, and G. Don't go to G sharp. G sharp has a little pound sign. That's a sharp symbol in music. So if you've gone to the G and you see the little sharp symbol, you've gone too far. So bring it back down to G. I'll do the same thing on C. My next string says A sharp here, so I'm going to go up for a while. So I keep going until the little light lights up. And depending on your tuner, it'll light red or green or blue or whatever but you'll know that it's the correct note because it'll light up. And I'll do the same thing for E and A. And the last one is A. I went too far, let me bring it back down. And there we go. Mine stays in tune because I've already warmed up the strings and stretched them out before making this video. But for you, as soon as you tune it, it's gonna go immediately out of tune. That's because the strings have not stretched out yet. When you get the ukulele new, the strings are going to be loose and they haven't been stretched out and you have to stretch them out. And you do that by tuning them and then they fall right out of tune. You tune it again and it's annoying because you can't stay in tune. Here's a little trick. Pull on the strings like this. That pulls them way out of tune, but it stretches them out. So once you do that, you're gonna be way out of tune again. Watch this. It's way out of tune now, but that's, that's on purpose. So then I tune it back up. Then I stretch it out again. Stretch, stretch, stretch it. Don't pull it too hard, you might break the string, but you can pull it pretty hard. These strings are pretty tough. Tune it right back up to G. Do it again. And now I'm in tune again. And that's how you tune your ukulele.